Hello, it's Paul here. Welcome everyone. Uh, been out in the workshop this week doing some odds and sods. Um, one of the little things I wanted to do was just create myself a little cup of some sort just to put on my desk at work, just to put pens in. I mean, I have things like paint brushes, standing knives and stuff like that for my job. So just keep them tidy on the desk somewhere. So basically I got some of this, just pine, four lengths, glued them all together and just turned that. It wasn't as nice as I wanted it to be. Um, in actual fact it flew off the chuck. I've lost count how many times it flew off the chuck while I was trying to hollow out the inside. So the finish is not brilliant but it's just, it's just going to do the job that I want it to. I will say I'm still in my very much experimental stages doing different things so you'll have seen from the previous project videos I mean I'll have mixed up my own shellac uh, mix there which is with the, the orange flakes. Um, I've also mixed up with a boiled linseed oil uh, not had overly so much success on there but tried different things so I've also ordered some of the plain blonde de-waxed shellac flakes which I've mixed up today uh, that was mixed up probably two or three hours ago still some bits in the bottom there so hopefully that'll be ready to use as from tomorrow so I will say though the one thing I love about the pine is the grain uh, I'll probably stick a, a pictures of this in this video at the end as well to compare with the other two things that I've been doing as well. And pine, I think, it's just such a lovely grain in it. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you look back through all my previous videos at a lot of the other things I've made as well, especially when you've given it a little bit of colour, uh, how much the grain does show up. So I suppose there's a bit of a, a task for, for a lot of people to have a go at. I bet an awful lot of wood turners have turned nothing other than obviously like the hard woods like oaks and stuff like that. I dare say there's an awful lot of people turn soft woods and stuff like that, but I bet, dare say there's also a lot of people who have never top, turned something like that. So there's a little challenge for you. Grab something like that. Um, you've probably got to land about a bit of pallet wood or anything like that. See what you can come up with. Uh, it's surprising how much you learn and really the finish you get. It is a lot more hard work, but I think if you can get the finish that you want, you come up with something just as good as, as the hardwoods. So my last project video was the little bud vase, like that. It's got a small test tube in the bottom in there. Uh, it does stretch down about that sort of length. It's impossible to get out. out. It, has been glued, it hasn't been glued in, uh, but that was done out of a, a piece of softwood branch that I picked up a couple of years ago when I was out for a walk. However, what I did today, uh, probably two or three videos back when I did my workshop tour, I did give a, a um, I did show all, all the bag of hardwoods I bought from the local mill. So what I did today, that's the piece I cut off, which I didn't use, off of one of the bits, so it was out here. Because it's so thick, can't put it on my crosscut saw, my saw, whichever we want to call it. Don't have a bandsaw. And I think even that's actually going to be too thick for the bandsaw I'm looking to get when they do eventually get them in stock. So I actually had to get the handsaw out. And it was a good workout to start with. And you'll see at the moment in the video, obviously, the size of the piece that was cut off there. But that's oak, as far as I'm aware. Obviously, if somebody says anything different, um, please do let me know. And I produced this. I'll just come to the camera a bit closer so you can actually see that. And I've got to say, I am absolutely amazed with it. Uh, finish the bottom off as well. Uh, that's got a slightly larger test tube in it, so you can see there. And I've got to say, the grain on there is absolutely amazing. I can see why people do turn the hardwoods like the oaks and stuff like that. But having said that, pine does still have a place. The, the grain on there is just as nice um, for certain circumstances but when you've only ever been turning the softwood when you turn your first piece of proper hardwood like oak and you come up with a grain like that it is absolutely amazing I've given this just two coats of sanding sealer the shellac 
um, sand and sealer from Brywax and I've given that about two or three coats of wood wax 22 and that actually has a nice sheen to it as well so I am really really impressed with that and when I show it to the wife she said oh I'll have that I know where to put that so I've lost that one already so but that's what's really turning is all about ideally making things that can be used somewhere so for if you're it's your first time here I do put up regular videos um, and actually, in fact my previous project I, I've literally just downloaded from the camera today so it's sat on the computer ready to, 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 to deal with my existing subscribers thank you very very much um, you keep tuning in is most appreciated and I would like every would appreciate it if everybody could hit the like button hit the share button please please do leave a comment because um, I mean, as you can see I'm doing a vast amount of different things um, still experimenting learning an awful lot and obviously your feedback does really make a big difference uh, so I do get odd little comments sometimes sometimes people contact me directly through Facebook through woodchuckers and stuff like that and certainly help me move on so anyway I will shut up now so and hopefully the video coming up next you'll see how I turned this one so thanks a lot for watching bye Drift directionless and wayward, lost like a swallow on a cliff. But slowly, I found purpose, and my life became more clear. I found my destination, yeah, but now where do I go from here? Cause I'm already there, I'm already everywhere. I'm already there, I'm already everywhere I've got a wife, two kids and a picket fence Everything was hazy, now it's making sense Alright, I made it, so now what? I paid my dues in factories I worked until I bled the suffering made me stronger, so I pushed to get ahead. And now I'm perched above the factory floor, looking down at my friends below. In my comfy car, I drive away, but there is nowhere left to go. Cause I'm already there, I'm already everywhere. I've got a wife, two kids, and a picket fence Everything was hazy, now it's making sense Alright, I made it, so now what? is done the finish lines behind you and you have lost or you have won the crowd goes home and you're still standing on that empty track the lights are out the crowd is gone but there's no going back cause you're already there Already there, you're already everywhere. Oh, I'm already there, I'm already everywhere. I'm already there, I'm already everywhere.
the TV man spoke of death on some coast. I saw the crumbling debris. It dealt me a blow, but I'm thankful to know that it could never happen to me. I am standing on motionless land, a constant under my feet. God for walls and a roof overhead. It could never happen to me. I feel for the poor folks who wander the streets in search of their daughters and sons. It's sad there are people with nothing to eat, but I'm thankful I'll never be. I've worked for my family and home. My whole life I fought to be free. No one deserves to be homeless alone, but it could never happen to me. I've lived my life righteous and wise. I've chosen my path carefully. Someone just has to be smiling on high, 'cause it could never happen to me. No, I'm not without flaws, and I've suffered through loss. I've got problems that weigh on my mind. I've got bills to pay and a son on the way, so I've gotta save every day. These things always happen so far from my door, as if tragedy lives overseas. I wish I could have.